and he has the physique for it. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna joke. The man is extraordinary. There's times when we're filming, I'm just looking at him, just staring at his body. Mm. Which is shameful <laughs> to know, I know, but he is extraordinary. He looks like an actual, real-life superhero. I mean, not just in costume, like in everyday life. He's got, you know, he's, you know when you see a, a comic book and they've, they've drawn Superman, and they've drawn him as the peak of physical perfection, and there's muscles rippling in every place that there should be, uh, he looks exactly like that in the flesh. And he's, uh, he's a different species. He has immaculate hair, perfect teeth, um, and, uh, you know, and frankly, a body to die for. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I'm wondering about your own body. Yeah. Um, go on, go on, be careful on, what well, you're saying. No, it's this just that, what with his qualities, as you've explained, and your your own particular qualities yeah. of, of string, um, d does he exaggerate you? Do you look even taller and slimmer? Next thing, I mean, well, I haven't seen any of the footage, so it's difficult to say. Yeah, but but um, I mean, obviously, I've been drafted in to add a bit of sex appeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, we shall see in the finished cut. But I, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. It is a comedy film. You know, it's right, a comedy. Okay. It's a family comedy. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I thought it was. A yeah, it's not. It's not a documentary no. or, or an erotic thriller. <laughs> 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 it is. It's a family comedy. So you know, yeah. if I am offering you know humour at any juncture, then I'll be very pleased yeah. with that. <laughs> um, I don't want to give too much away about the story, but um, don't know why you're smirking so much. Why are you giggling? You're going to be first in line, aren't you, Sammy? Yes. Yes, of course you are. But um, on a Wednesday, though. I don't know, because a lot of UK audiences are not so... What do you mean on a Wednesday? Well, it's cheaper, then. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, you, you will want to pay top dollar when you see the kind of fizz that we've got on screen <laughs> together. Um, it's like uh, Michael Douglas and Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct <laughs> without any of the uh, leg crossing. Although, who knows, maybe. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> those tights. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a lot of people in the UK are probably not familiar with Dwayne. Um, he's not so well known over here, although in the States he's supersized um, physically. Um, and he was a former WWF wrestler who was uh, segued. He was known as The Rock then, he's now called Dwayne. He was known as The Rock. His catchphrase was, um, can you smell what the rocks are cooking? Uh, which I've always thought sounds like a kind of playground euphemism for farting. <laughs> Hey, Jeff, can you smell what the rock's cooking? Um, but apparently not. I think it was more of a, you know, it was a call to arms. But, um, yeah, so, uh, can I just say one word? Lovely. An absolute charmer. One of the nicest oh, men good. I've ever met. Oh. All right. Uh, Sammy, you're a fan. Already. I like the sound of him. I yeah. worry that he could use his powers for evil, you see, but this he's is obviously true. chosen not to. Yeah, he was a mean wrestler. I was he mean? Was he a mean wrestler? He had a grimace and he used to stand and he was fairly mm. scared. I was about eight when he was at his peak, so, sure. um, I was fearful. But yeah, it's nice to know that he's a genuinely nice man, and of course, man. you seem to be in love with him, so... <laughs> no, I am, I genuinely, you know, it, 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 only in a kind of, you know, in, in a man-on-man way, um, <laughs> which is completely innocent. But, uh, you know, I think he's, well, he's a lovely guy, and uh, obviously you'll be looking forward to that uh, enormously. Yeah, um, as I say, I can't give away too many of uh, the behind-the-scenes secrets. I've already probably spoken too much. When's it out? Uh, I think it's probably out next year. Oh, get in. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Look at your face. Look at the smile on you. <laughs> That's going to be like eight-year-olds everywhere. In a way, because both of you are so tiny, it's kind of like seeing as I imagine it will be <laughs> when uh, the film's been released, and mm. I imagine I'm going to have a whole new fan base. Maybe. I'm just looking forward to have something to, to mock you about rather than you sticking pens in my face before we come <laughs> on air. Listen, we should clarify that I did not stick the pen with the nib in your eye. It wasn't in my eye. I did say face. Yes, but I d it wasn't with no, the nib, it was it? It wasn't nibby. It, it was, was just a prod. It was a prod more than a stick. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, again, you've, you've revealed behind the curtain there. <laughs> um, it's all about on air. Uh, so thank you very much indeed for listening. <laughs> Hags is not a home from Field Music, and if you were a Field Music fan, then you'll uh, want to stay tuned because uh, Peter Brewis from Field Music, uh, along with his brother David, is here, and uh, they will be playing tunes um, from their new album, which they recorded under the guise of The Week That Was. That's coming up later on the Steve Show. <laughs> Workshop, of course, and um, that one is quite tricky to say. Epley? Epela? Epel? Apple, 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 Apple. Check it out online if you're, uh, <laughs> if you're wondering. Um, so obviously one of the uh, key elements of the Steve Show is that not only do we recommend tunes to you, but you, the listeners, can get in touch and suggest music to us. And someone who has done just that is only on the line. It's Chris Morris, no, not no, the no. Chris Morris. It yeah, could be. Unfortunately not. I'm, I'm not nearly as funny either, so oh, you, dear. Know, you should have probably just got him instead. Well, we've been chasing him for some time, but we'll make do with you instead, <laughs> Chris. Um, yeah. Don't say anything as controversial or naughty. I, I won't. As, I mean, um, I'm normally a massive racist, but I'll... Oh, but just keep <laughs> keep it clean if you would. Yeah. Um, f that's what I have to do every week. Um, so, Chris, where are we speaking to you from or at? Uh, I'm in my room at the moment, and uh, uh, in Southampton, in my house. In your house, right. So, are you, are you young? Are you a student? 
I'm 17, so yeah, quite young. Uh, <laughs> half your age, maybe? Um, quick, ma ma do the maths, Dan. Um, yeah, I'm just working that out now. It's almost bang on. 34. That is, uh, exactly half your age. 34 in about a month's time. Thank you very much for remembering. <laughs> um, I expect yeah. a gift. Uh, now, uh, so, uh, what do you do, Chris? Uh, aside uh, from being I, a I'm a student, so I go to college, uh, every day, and then I get home and I have to do more work, so I, you know, just do that, basically. When you say more work, do you have to do something difficult, like, you know, to obviously keep the family afloat, work down a mine or something? Uh, yeah, solve the mine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, Chris, um, I always like to try and get a sense of what the teenagers are into at the moment. Right. So um, what's, what's probably happening? not best to come to me, then. Really? Yeah. Are you something of a nerd? Uh, I'm a little bit of a nerd. Well, I listen to the show, so obviously. Ooh, calm down. Hang on. He slammed me. He's turned it back <laughs> on me there. I was trying to insult him. He's insulted me. Um, but seriously, I mean, what's, uh, what, uh, is it all about MySpace and YouTube? Um, YouTube, I don't use MySpace. Uh, um, I use Facebook. Okay. Uh, um, uh, how many friends have you got? Oh, um... I think more than ten last time I checked. Right, um, but in the real world, how many have you got? <laughs> oh, less than that. I would have thought so. <laughs> uh, so, what's it, what's your what are your dreams and hopes, Chris? Oh, um, I don't know. Uh, well, I'm off to uni next year with any luck, uh, and uh, doing a course in film, radio, and television. Oh, I know. So pretty much what you do, basically. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be able to kind of maybe cover all of my areas, uh, the radio work, the TV work, and of course the forthcoming movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd be very disappointed if that doesn't make I it into some academic I, courses. I wake up every day and wish that by the end of the day I'm in a film with a wrestler. Yes. <laughs> Hey, listen, he's quite the acting talent. I, I genuinely am a massive rock fan. I, I uh, thought he was the best thing in the sequel to Get Shorty, Be Cool. He's by far the best thing in that. Uh, he's very, very good in the uh, film um, Rob Welcome to the Jungle with Christopher Walken. Very good in that. It's a good sort of action comedy. So uh, don't don't be slamming the rock. I, I wouldn't dare. Yeah, you don't want to mess with him. <laughs> um, no, then, we, we have a sort of series of questions, Chris, that we'd like to fire at our listeners. Uh, just get a sense of who they are, get under their skin. You have to just answer instinctively. Don't think about it too much. Right. Okay. Okay. Be careful, though, because we know you're already a racist in your yeah, own. I know, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I may have to think about them for, you know, a moment. Well, certainly, so certainly on this first the, question. Certainly be very, very careful on this first question. What would <laughs> yeah. you ban? Sorry? What would you ban? What would I ban? Um, oh, uh, old people in McDonald's. <laughs> is it because it puts you off your food? Yeah, it's, it's just, no, <laughs> I mean, I, I go to college and near college is McDonald's, and so that's what we survive on. Sure. And um, we go in there, and every so often, you know, you see an old woman who's not, you know, presumably her husband's died. Yeah, um, <laughs> presumably. <laughs> pensions struggling to keep her afloat, and, you know, she's had to rely on horrible fast food. She's been lured in by the promise of a happy meal, not realising uh, that those words... Honestly, uh, I was little. at McDonald's last week, old woman there ordered a happy meal. <laughs> I, I, oh, so old I woman... Give her money. Older Moon Band, um, if you could jump into any film and live in that film, what film would it be? Oh, Garden State. Garden State. Oh, uh, mm. So you've got so, a soft spot for, um, uh, <laughs> the woman. Portman. Who? Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Oh, the things I could tell you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh... Not her name, apparently. <laughs> Not her name. He's a smart act. Uh, <laughs> well, now, what would you like to apologise for, other than that last comment? <laughs> Um, ooh, what would I like to apologise for? These are pretty heavy questions. They're difficult, aren't they? Yeah. What happens if being a light-hearted? <laughs> well, we've had that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. You don't know? No, All right. just, um, Oh, no, listen, Chris, it's too late. We were going to go out on a high. On the radio. Chris, we, <laughs> uh, we were going to go out on a high. That we'd have gone straight into the track. Sadly, this is just a damp <laughs> squib. So let's just go straight to your musical choice. What was it? Uh, it's Brain Power by Freeze Pop. Thank you very much indeed. We'll listen to it. Stay there. We'll talk to you in a sec. Cheers, mate. I love it. I love it. We've just... Hey Chris, um, you've had some concerns because you were worried that this, the track sounded weird. I think that was just because <laughs> of your musical taste. You've had it, you've had it played back to you, and you thought, "Hang on a minute, this sounds really weird and odd." But no, that's just the music you like, mate. Sorry, no, sorry. It's, to... not, it's not even my normal musical taste. Well, why did you choose it? Trying to show off. <laughs> 
Um, I, I just thought it was nice. I thought you'd like it, Steve. Well, what what about that did you think I would like? What have you I, listened? I, you've listened to the kind of you know sort of singer songwriter nonsense that I listen to. Why would I like well, some I women mean, screaming? Uh, <laughs> people, other, uh, it's not all about you, Steve. Well, you know this show is, and you. He's uh, right. I did like it. Thank, thank you, Chris. Well, so he liked. Obviously, because she's about fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> she's still impressed by the fact that they can make music. <laughs> um, listen, I've, I'm a more sophisticated gent who likes things like Bob Dylan. Why would I ever like that? No, I actually I did enjoy. It, actually, I like something a bit shouty and noisy. <laughs> Um, and I appreciate your taste. Listen, we have to go to the news, so I really uh, thank you for uh, getting in touch, and um, you've been a joy to talk to. Right, um, just before I go... Be careful. Just before... Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, just before I go, I, I would be um, uh, gutted alive if I didn't say hello to um, everyone on Pilkopedia. Right. Um, especially Hannah and um, Surinder, who I think you know quite well. Steve. Um, I think I may have uh, met them in passing, but I don't know yeah, them intimately. they uh, wore, wore your face on a t-shirt. Great. Well, they're only human. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and okay. um, thank you for doing that, and I'm pleased that you won't be gutted alive. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yes, if you want to get in touch, then you can do that um, by uh, various means. Um, I think if you go on the website, is that right, Dan? If you go on the website and you can click on my face, very much, so. and there'll be an opportunity to suggest a musical track. Indeed. Um, we'll be back after the news on digital, on digital. online, BBC. From her new album. Uh, that's Jenny Lewis uh, with Elvis Costello doing backing vocals and uh, Carpet Baggers the uh, album is called Acid Tongue Steve Show Six Music with me Steve Merchant and uh, my little gang here Tiny Dan Hello. Oh, hang on, hang on. Who's that? we've got the news still playing that's weird they've done about the Stooges who knows what was going on um, it's a good job they weren't effing and blinding because you know what the news crew are like oh, oh. <laughs> some of the effing and jeffing that goes on in that studio like quick get me conference. the news <laughs> um, they're often heard to cry uh, so listen um, yes uh, I've been away but I'm not the only one um, Sammy you've been stateside I have, yeah. yeah. I was producer Jude's first guest in Nashville, where she left us to go to. When you say guest, is she hosting her own little radio show there, <laughs> just in her bedroom? Yeah, just for herself. Sure. Just, just Please for welcome, her. Sammy. Just for her and the, the wood roaches. It was brilliant, and I totally understand why she's moved out there now. Nashville? Yeah, it's really nice there. There's, there's nice people. I actually, um, I'd say I wrote you a song. I, I didn't really write it. I've adapted a song, if you'd like to hear it. This is interesting. <clears throat> yeah, it's not particularly good. <laughs> Visited Jude in America, ate lots of food in America, people went rude in America, ran around you in America. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick you up on something there. Um, you say you ate a lot of food. <laughs> no, um, you ran around nude in America, what's the story? Purely for Jude's entertainment, that was all. No right. one else saw. Through the streets of Nashville, in no just a pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> That would have been brilliant. That would have been extraordinary. And there was nude karaoke in Nashville, which we never attended, sadly, but it does exist. Imagine if Dolly Parton had done that. Oh, knocked herself out. <laughs> Good night. I'm out of here. Thanks very much. I'll be here. Well, I won't be here next week, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, what about yourself, Dan? You've been travelling. Didn't you go to Israel to sort out the problem? Um, I did go to the Middle East, yeah. I did a little bit of travelling around. I was actually going over to meet my girlfriend, who you may recall, uh, I was offered 200 camels um, yes. for her. Yes, and you went over to see if that offer still stood. Yeah, lots of camels there. Actually, they're a bit overrated camels. They've Are they? Got, they're, yeah, they've got huge humorous faces, <laughs> sure. um, but uh, they don't do a lot, to be honest. They sort of sit around. Um, so it was no deal. So <laughs> oh, I right. uh, uh, she must be pleased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, lots of kudos for that. Um, uh, yeah, I assumed, obviously, that I would, because uh, you know me, I, I'm not a, I'm not a brave man. No. So I assumed I'd be finished. I didn't think I'd come back from What, you there. thought you'd be blown up or something? Well, crazy. something. Uh, I yeah. don't know. Something would happen to me. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I, I, I did all I think really nice, yeah, re very nice, travel around a bit, yeah, it was... Uh, has it been a bit blown out of proportion? Um, well... All this kind of, oh, they don't like each other. It's a, uh, light-hearted entertainment show, okay. uh, so I'm not going to delve too deeply, um, but there's a, there's, there's a lot of problems there. Yes, it's complicated, I didn't solve it. I have been overwhelmed, because I've been stateside, with the, uh, American election, which mm. is pretty much anything, uh, the only thing anyone ever discusses over there. Mm. And, uh, I have actually become hooked on it. I'm absolutely, I'm fixated with it now, because it is fascinating. Uh, naturally, I mean, everyone else has already been joking and laughing about Sarah Palin. She is obviously a remarkable woman <laughs> in so many ways. <laughs> Um, and I don't, I don't know how much of it's been reported over here, some of her amazing comments, including um, that she can speak on foreign policy, because she can see Russia from Alaska, <laughs> which was 